How's everybody doing? Zero here. And guys, today I'll be going over a character analysis for Piranha Plant, which <laughs> I, I, I think is the most... It probably is the most ridiculous character review along with Wifi Trainer because Wifi Trainer was definitely one of those characters that I'm pretty sure a almost tiny percentage of the world population actually asked for. And then you have Piranha Plant, which no, it, it was not leaked. Everybody got completely taken aback because it was so surprising. So I think that this is one of the most surprising and just crazy and ridiculous reveals that we had so far. So for today, I want to analyze this character and just see how good uh, Piranha Plant actually is. We don't have too much footage because the character is not even out, but I enjoy analyzing. So we'll see what information we have um, so far. So let me um, full screen. There we go. I'm going to make it a little low. Okay, so first thing, I mean, the trailer itself is... Has, has the music and everything. Honestly, it was pretty confusing at first because I'm like, I just expected like maybe some sort of like Bowser slash Mario character, but like, um, it was just Piranha Plant. It was honestly kind of it caught me off guard. But there's a move that uh, Piranha uses right here at the beginning. I just want to talk about this roll right here has to be one of the best rolls in the entire game. This back roll is it literally yells. OP slash broken to me. Just I want you to look at the speed in which he's able to dodge this attack. That is instant. Uh, also, that seems like a down to or Forto sends them up. That seems like a good good combo starter at low percent. I mean, we don't know what percent the Mario was at, but regardless, I mean that that looked good. Force Smash seems to have decent range. So I think that uh, first of all, back that back roll. That's just the roll in general look at me. That's because rolling is gonna be it's a tool while it's nerfed in ultimate because if you spam it, it adds more lag. It's still gonna be one of the most important tools in the ground because rolling is just useful in general. You can always use it here and there. You don't have to spam it to make it useful. Uh pummel looks really fast. Up throw. That's a good angle. Also, he seemed to react immediately after, so you can probably follow it up with something. I will say, probably. The projectile seems a little too slow. I want to say I think it's too a little too slow because look, he has to like suck it. He has to like blow on it, and then he has to shoot it. Uh, it seems to be powerful and maybe you know strong, but like it, it, it just has too much of a um, too much startup for my liking. I feel like it's not like that will definitely like affect you a lot if you're trying to like use it to zone someone out and you're fighting someone like Captain Falcon, Sonic, like a fast character. It'll just be way too difficult to actually get it going. So that's not very, very, very good. Uh, his dash speed seems okay. Not, not, nothing too special. That's dash tag right there. Mm, the thing about this dash tag is that a single hit. So if you block it, you are you, you get a free punish. Um, we don't. I don't know how much cooldown it has or if it crosses up or anything. But um, just because it's single hit and just the way the hitbox is, it stops pity. It's PD. It, sp it stops uh, Piranha Plant right in front of the shield. Um, likely to stop... Yeah, yeah, I feel like if you block this, you'll probably stop right there and then. So, you don't, you can't really cross up shields with this. So, I feel like this dash tag is... Eh. eh. It's sent, it sent at a decent angle, though. I mean, here's the forder. That forder looks good. Though the problem with this attack is that if you notice, it starts low and then goes up. Which means that it's not that good of an anti arrow because people can attack from above and then your attack will always come out from under. If it came out from above and down, it will be much more useful. The advantage though is that you can hit people that are ducking low, maybe like Pikachu or whatnot. So that's a pretty pretty interesting note. Uh, here's the downer right here. That seems like a decent decent hitbox. He's hitting from the middle. I can't tell if this has like a sour spot or, or a sweet spot or if it's just the whole move just spikes. I can't tell, but it seems pretty strong. Uh, I did not hear a KO after he spiked Mewtwo, but it seems uh, just just the way it travels, it doesn't seem weak. Although we don't know the percent, though. Um, I, I think it has to be somewhat low because after the dash attack and the fair, it didn't seem like high enough percentage. Uh, you can poison people here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's from Paper Mario. That that uh, this this. Poison, yeah, yeah, the yellow, the yellow piranha plant. That's from Paper Mario. I've definitely seen this in Thousand Year Door for sure. Regardless, if you can poison people and run away, like kind of like put toxic, like a uh, toxic a la Pokemon style, maybe you can uh, do a runaway style where you poison people and then you run away using rolls that and shooting stuff and using your um your range because speed. Uh, I keep saying PD, just piranha plant has range, so that that could be maybe some early theory. I don't know how much damage it does. Fourth throw. 
decent angle, decent angle. It's like this, I want to say not this vertical, but this slight diagonal. Um, looks like a sword here, actually. If you look at the smoke, it looks like a sword. Um, so that's a, that's a decent angle because you can kind of run under them and then up there or maybe cover the landing. Though down smash here, this is down smash. It looks ridiculous. Watch the hitbox. Oh mm, my god. It's in front of him, it's behind him, and just had almost no ending lag at all. And then you go immediately into the up smash, which that seems like a good option. That's a really good covering the landing up smash. I liked it a lot. That's probably one of the specials. I cannot tell how good that is, but um, it seems to at least... Let me see. Hmm. Honestly, for me to judge that move, I will have to see how much control we have. It's too little information for me to judge this move. I can't tell the range completely. I can't tell if that's all the way it goes. Um, I can't tell if you can, like, shorten it. I can't tell if you can bite right away, if you can make it faster. Too many questions. We'll have to use that move. It doesn't look too special, though, because we at least we didn't see uh, the move hit anybody. But just bland, blandly looking at it without, without it hitting anyone, it's, it doesn't seem that special. Okay, this attack. Oof, oof. I want to talk about this one. Look, he comes in from the air. He's in the air, activates his move, goes into the pod, making his hurt box smaller, and then gets hit. Nothing happens. Charges this for charges the move for just a little bit, and then boom, massive range. That is massive range, dude. That is literally from one side of Dreamland to the other. Um, not only that, but also is the fact that it it, it seems strong. Look, yeah, that's decently strong. Like that's useful. Really, really useful. The recovery seems good too. That's definitely that has to have a hitbox while moving. The only disadvantage though is that since uh, Piranha has uh, his head completely vulnerable, um, both the bottom and up, it's that's really bad though. It, it goes a good dis distance, but the protection is really bad because you can get spiked or you can get juggled either way. You're gonna get hit, so that's not really good actually. The special, literally no one cares. Um, let me go, let me go back to the trailer here. Let me look at the other, the, yeah, the the numbered trailer. The number chiller is a good one to um, to continue with. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's a ton. Yeah, like like his run speed looks okay. It's not like anything special, right? But, like it's not bad, I guess. Oh, that's a good neutral, dude. Oh, that has almost no landing like at all. Look at that. He lands and he can move. A little before Shulk lands on the ground and then gets the ground. This is not a true combo, though, for sure. Shulk could have uh, blocked our jab here, but uh, just look at the speed. You can you can make it land, and then he's pretty much moving right before Shulk touches the ground. It's really really good. Goes for the fourth throw right here. Fourth throw, good angle. You can maybe tech chase a low percent if it's a fast bowler, like maybe Falcon or something. The roll, that roll is amazing. Just look at the roll, dude. That roll is ridiculous, man. Just look at it. Oh my god, broken. Uh huh. Oh, you can control uh, the direction of this. It, it can. It doesn't have to be like sideways. It can also be upwards. That's really good for platform pressure. Like if someone is platform camping, you pick a, you pick the, um, the plant against them. That's that's that, that's useful. That's really useful. Because I've always wondered how to punish people platform camping me. And uh, platform camp is very strong in competitive play. But if you can pick a plant and then counter pick them like this that's really interesting that's an option maybe it can be a good uh, like maybe like a throw punish maybe teams play who knows right that looks like jab i, I will have to know how much damage that did but that's a multi-hit jab came out rather instantly almost no cooldown that's good the recovery goes pretty high up as well and you can control where direction it goes all right, well, that's roughly pretty much all we have in terms of footage for, for this character. I want to say uh, the plant, I will say it does not look bad. Like, it doesn't look to me like a laggy character. It doesn't look bad. I will, I will tell you that it doesn't look broken. It doesn't look like, oh, that character is going to change the metagame. But uh, he has weaknesses. For example, the recovery is very vulnerable both above him or below him. He does. He didn't have any particular move that struck me as like, oh, that move is ridiculous. Like, why would they give him that? He has like no, he has no gimmick. You know how most characters, for example, and Sinera has like the, the grabs, the the counter, the revenge thing. Um, for example, <clears throat> every character has like something that's like their gimmick. Diddy Kong has bananas. Um, Ganon has ridiculous strength. You know, like every character, like Shulk has the uh, the Monado arts. Like every character has some sort of, of gimmick, and I feel like Piranha Plant. Yeah, he can hide in the pod, 
um, and then attack. Like, well, well, he maybe have a mechanic where, like, if you're in the pod, um, you take less damage. Maybe they can't hit you, or maybe you don't take knockback. Like, he has to have some kind of gimmick, and I feel like we haven't seen that yet because the character's not released yet. We we have barely the pretty much the bare bones of the character, so we can't really tell what's going on. So I feel like we have a uh, gimmick missing of the character. He has to have a gimmick for him to be an extra character like this. They wouldn't just put him out in the field like that. Um, second thing is that we didn't see a lot of his moves. We didn't see, for example, a lot of his aerials, a lot of his tilts, um, his throws. We only saw pretty much almost none of them. So there's a lot of things that we have questions for, but I want to say just preliminary, uh, has decent movement, good range, and low cooldown on key moves. For example, the, uh, the attack that you can use to counter people platform camping, that's a big deal, I think. Down smash and up smash look promising as well. And then, other than that, the character... In fact, the character can crawl, uh, or crow, uh, crawl, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, uh, maybe crouch, if you want to put it that way, crouch, um, and go into the pot, and it reduces his hurt box tremendously. So that's always useful, because if you're fighting a matchup, being short in Smash is always good. In fact, if you realize, most of the good characters in Smash history tend to be short characters. Uh, Pikachu in 64, Tiny. Uh, Fox in Melee, he's kind of short as well. Um, not the shortest, but kind of short, you know, he's not like Bart size or Captain Falcon size. Uh, Men and I and Bro also very short. Like, a lot of the best characters tend to be smaller, and small is usually an advantage. So that's a good a good point in his uh, in his board for that. But with that said, guys, hopefully you guys look um, look forward to Piranha Plant. I know a lot of you guys were waiting for literally anything else, but uh, I think it's interesting to at least you know um, <laughs> deal with the hand that we have been dealt. Uh, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, keep in mind, guys, that they, um, from what I, I understand, uh, DLC for, or not DLC, but characters were pretty much decided for Smash Ultimate back in 2015, I want to say, like, uh, late 2015. Um, I think I read this somewhere. And basically, the, regardless, even if it's right or not, it's the fact that they have to finalize roster years before the game even comes out. So it's not like, it's not like, Piranha stole a spot or anything because they were gonna put him in years beforehand. So they were gonna they they super committed to putting him in. So I don't think he stole the spot for any. We still have DLC. Your character can still get in. My character, see, I wanted Rex and Pyra from Xenoblade. I got jammed. They made him stickers and a me custom. GG. GG will place her. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like Piranha took the spot from them because like uh, the game wasn't even out by then. So it's like it wasn't even possible for them to be considered. Regardless, though, I mean, they made him a me custom, you know. Well, well, guys, that's my analysis. I went a little off track. But, guys, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments uh, what other characters you would like me to analyze. We have a lot more footage from Treehouse and just from the fact that they pretty much um, have a version of the game with all the characters. There's a lot more footage that I can analyze. Not every character is available, but there's a lot of them that are. Uh, so let me know what you guys would like to see. I'm down to make a video for it. With that said, thanks for watching. Please make sure to hit subscribe. Hit the bell so you can see the videos because otherwise YouTube will only tell you every every few uploads rather than every single upload. So, I mean, if you subscribe, I'm guessing you would like to see every video. Haha. <laughs> or at least at least see them in your feed, you know, and you can decide. But uh, regardless, guys, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you had fun. And I'll catch you guys around next video, all right? Take care, everyone.